We have a new integration for IT Hub, which is uh, uh, allowing you to consume data that is coming into IT Hub from devices from Kafka. And uh, for, for those of you who don't know Kafka, stay on because you'll learn some. And for those of you who are using Kafka today, Reza will tell us everything about that integration and how easily you can wrap all your messages from IoT devices into Kafka application. Hey guys, this is the Interesting Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and we'll talk with Reza today about integrating Azure IoT Hub with Kafka. Hey Reza, how are you? Pretty good. Yourself? Good. good. So you're a new member of the uh, IoT team now? That's correct. So what are you doing in the team? I'm a program manager in the IoT Hub platform team. I'm uh, working on a variety of features, and the one that particularly I want to show today is about integration with Kafka applications Okay. Uh, from IoT Hub. Awesome. So I think we're going to have to set some context. Yep. So I know Kafka, you know Kafka, some people might not know it. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's set the stage and then we'll talk about that integration and you'll show us some cool demo. Yeah, absolutely. So Kafka is an open source Apache project. It's an event, uh, event streaming platform that is very actually popular. So there are lots of users outside of Microsoft as well as inside of Microsoft that are using Kafka natively. So as part of this demo, what we have uh, and we want to demonstrate to you guys is how to use uh, the events that your devices use and flow through IoT Hub from a Kafka application that you might have. So in cer certain scenarios, mm -hmm. customers might have legacy applications that they have written uh, even prior to starting using IoT Hub. Okay. And then they want to keep those applications to ideally unchanged to the extent possible Fair. before they onboard to IoT Hub. Okay. And this is the capability that facilitates that, uh, that mm -hmm. transition. So basically they would have these applications leveraging Kafka for ingesting data into their app. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, so that's similar to Event Hub basically as, as, a, as a usage, right? Absolutely. So in fact, uh, Kafka and Event Hub have a very similar model in terms okay. of how they treat events. And some of the co concepts are actually uh, kind of one-on-one -on -one and uh, corresponding to one another. Even in terms of terminology, there are lots of shared terminology. Okay. So for example, Kafka has the notion of partitions and consumer group and offsets, and these are the same concepts and same terminology exactly used in mm -hmm. uh, Event Hub. Event Hub has uh, things like namespaces, which correspond very closely to Kafka clusters, as well as hubs, which correspond to Kafka topics. Okay. And these are some of them uh, I'll touch upon uh, during the demo and show how you can set up your um, IoT Hub and the Event Hub that stores your and persists your events behind the scene to work with that Kafka application. Awesome. Well, you've been in the team for so little and you already have been doing all of that. Yeah, That's it's pretty al amazing. It, <laughs> it's almost two months now. Yeah. Time flies. Well, two months, you're not the latest guy in the team, right? Absolutely. Awesome. The team is growing. <laughs> that, that's very impressive. And yeah, I, I just want to know more. Um, so similarity between Event Hub and, uh, and, and Kafka, we know that IoT Hub has an Event Hub endpoint where you can get data from. But then yeah. you also have uh, these routes that you can actually establish to, to customize to custom endpoints mm -hmm. that you define, right? Yeah, absolutely. So tell me, how does that integration with Kafka work for IoT Hub? Yeah, so I, as I mentioned, Kafka, uh, in this case, uh, we are considering the customers uh, downstream mm -hmm. uh, data processing applications that are interfacing with Kafka. Okay. Obviously, when we send the data into Event Hub, Event Hub traditionally has its own protocol and supported its own uh, wire formats, yep. uh, which were not compatible with Kafka. But more recently, Event Hub now supports Kafka interfacing with Kafka applications. Okay. And through this capability and uh, the demonstrations that uh, I'll show, uh, users can uh, basically simply configure the Kafka applications mm -hmm. in order to interface with Event Hub. Okay. And through the, the mechanisms that you just mentioned in terms of adding uh, an Event Hub endpoint yep. as well as the route, uh, our IoT Hub can receive and ingest the data from the devices directly mm -hmm. and send them through the Event Hub that eventually uh, is connected to the Kafka applications. Okay, makes sense. So uh, let me go quickly go over the uh, customer scenarios that yep. we think this particular capability is going to be helpful for. As I mentioned, uh, one major use case is when the customer already has a legacy application mm -hmm. written to interface with maybe a real Kafka cluster. Yep. So in this case, if they want to just onboard to IoT Hub mm -hmm. without uh, making any major changes to that application, maybe rewriting parts of it, they can leverage this capability. And uh, the change that they need to make is purely configuration driven. Okay. 
The second case that we think uh, this capability comes handy is when the K Kafka applications are mm -hmm. intended to work across platforms, maybe uh, with IoT Hub, maybe with non-Microsoft technologies, and particularly non-Microsoft uh, event hubs. Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, the customer definitely has a goal in mind to keep those uh, applications unchanged so that they can be cross-platform and compatible with both setups. That's again a, cap that's the, again a case that this capability comes by handy. Okay. And finally, we think that the case that a customer may just simply want to evaluate IoT Hub, uh -huh. maybe do a quick demo, uh, like prepare it over the weekend without, without making major changes in their own infrastructure, yeah. uh, particularly in their own data processing applications, mm -hmm. they can leverage this uh, capability as well. Okay. So these are the three main uh, driving scenarios that we think brings customer value okay. in the context of an IoT hub. And finally, I want to quickly go over the demo setup. Uh, parts of it we already discussed. I'll start the demo by basically a simple uh, Azure IoT hub. This okay. is the same IoT hub that you can go over the portal and create. Mm -hmm. I will uh, create a second uh, entity called an event hub okay. and particularly configure it uh, with the Kafka um, uh, support. support. Okay. Then I will define a custom route in my IoT hub mm -hmm. and a subsequent, uh, basically an endpoint and a route to send the data that the IoT hub receives from devices into that uh, event hub that Sounds I created. Yeah. And finally, I'll demonstrate how to use a generic and very simple Kafka application uh -huh. to, as a consumer to connect to Event Hub and just by merely setting up uh, the connection strings mm -hmm. and the endpoints, uh, the Kafka application can receive the events and process okay. them. Awesome. Let's quick, quickly switch over to the demo. Over here, I want to demonstrate creation of the Event Hub okay. as well as the setting up of the IoT Hub mm -hmm. and finally setting up the Kafka consuming application okay. Okay. on how to consume the events that are produced. So on this first screenshot, I've navigated to the portal under the um, uh, Event Hub page mm -hmm. and creating a new namespace. Okay. Uh, users can simply uh, provide the namespace name, select the pricing tier, and particularly for the purpose of using Kafka, they have yeah. to ensure to select this option to enable Kafka support for their new namespace. Okay, and that's available for any new Event Hub, right? You cannot enable an existing one for Kafka. You have to create a new Event Hub. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this capability is right now in public preview, okay. and the users, as you mentioned, have to create a new event hub in order to be able to uh, take advantage of it. So I've already gone ahead and created a, a new namespace, which mm -hmm. I'm going to use for the rest of the demo. For the second screenshot, I want to navigate to the IoT Hub okay. uh, portal page, and particularly under the endpoints. As you can see over here, I, this IoT Hub does not have any endpoints. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new endpoint using the, um, the CLI, the Azure uh -huh. CLI. Okay. Over here, I have the PowerShell Azure CLI. And you can see the, the command yeah. used for this purpose. Okay. I'm pers basically updating the IoT Hub mm -hmm. uh, and adding a new route okay. endpoint, which is of type event hubs. Okay. And I've provided the connection string, although it's in a variable. Okay. Uh, for we that event it. hub over yep. here, okay. as well as uh, provided the name of the hub under that event hub as an entity path. Okay. I'll go ahead and click enter. This is a process that will take uh, a few seconds to mm -hmm. complete, and after it completes, you will see that this, uh, uh, this endpoint will show up on the portal page under my IoT hub. Got it. Okay. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay. Okay, as you can see, uh, the operation succeeded, and I have the endpoint defined. You can see it under endpoints and event hubs. This is the connection string that I had provided. Okay. And this is the name of my uh, event hub namespace. Nice. So let's go back to the Azure portal in my uh, IoT hub mm -hmm. and look under the endpoints tab. As it's you can see, there's a new endpoint added yeah. here called Kafka, mm -hmm. just for simplicity. And the uh, endpoint type is event, event hub. Okay. Next, I'm going to go over the next tab called routes mm -hmm. and add a new route to the same event hub that I just created. Okay. So I'm going to call it the Kafka route. I'm going to select the data source for all device messages because that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to use for this demonstration. I'm going to uh, use Kafka as the endpoint. Okay. This is the same the endpoint just that we just created. Okay. And then I'm going to provide a 
query string of true to match all the messages okay, so that the device Everything coming into the hub will be sent into that specific endpoint. Absolutely. Okay. So this is uh, a simple setup. I just validated that it works, and I'm going to save the save the route. Okay. Nice. This is also going to take a few seconds, so we let it to complete. All right. As you can see, uh, my route is now defined, and with the same criteria that I had specified. So now let me switch over to a terminal that I'm using as the device. Okay. And as part of uh, the device program, I have, I'm using a simple program that simulates a, um, basically a telemetry device. Okay. That's publishing just humid, humidity and uh, the temperature. Yeah. We have plenty of these in our SDK exactly. samples and repos. The users yeah. can simply go ahead and use uh, any of them yep. uh, as samples. But just make sure that the, there is a device that is under this IoT hub. Because okay, the yeah, route yeah. that we set up only routes yeah. the messages that arrive in this yeah. uh, IoT hub. So I'm going to start running this. And this uh, program is written in Node uh, and basically sends this telemetry data okay. every second to the hub. Nice. I'm going to use a second um, terminal here which is where I have set up the Kafka consumer. Okay. And if you remember, the Kafka consumer needs it to be configured mm -hmm. in order to read the messages that uh, are routed to the event hub. Okay. So the Kafka consumer, I want to emphasize that it uh, is basically using the Kafka protocol to, mm -hmm. use, to uh, interact with uh, event hubs. Okay. And over here, what I want to demonstrate is the configuration file mm -hmm. and the changes, and particularly the lack of changes in the code that are needed uh, in order to uh, perform uh, an interface okay. with the event hub. So in the, on the first line, you see that I have added my uh, event hubs, okay. namespace, mm -hmm. and path. And on the last line, uh, as after the parameter password, mm -hmm. you can see that I've provided the connection string for the event hubs that I just created. OK, got it. So this is all the customer needs to yeah. do in order to configure this. Got it. Also, as I had mentioned, Kafka uses topics which correspond closely to the notion of hubs in Event Hub. Okay. So I'm using the same name, which was Kafka, mm -hmm. uh, as my topic name mm -hmm. for my consumer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this and run, uh, basically, since this is a Java application, I can run it with Maven, mm -hmm. Maven Execute Java. And this is going to start polling against the um, event hub okay. on a periodic basis and we start receiving the events that are pushed into event hubs on the terminal in the left. Okay. So this should show up um, shortly. Give me a sec. Okay. As you can see, uh -huh. the Basically, the consumer is receiving the same temperatures, mm -hmm. temperature reading with the same sequence numbers as they were produced on the left side. Okay. Since this is a polling paradigm, mm -hmm. so in every poll, in basically it uh, execution, a batch of exactly, the messages it receives the a whole batch okay. of messages, and they are going to be printed on the terminal uh, moving forward. Awesome, but this is like the paradigm, and this is the way of using Kafka that the Kafka developers or developers using Kafka regularly you know. They're already well, familiar, well, with. familiar with. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, it seems to be pretty straightforward. Basically, like create a new event hub that has the Kafka uh, functionality enabled. Like wrap the messages down to that one, and then just use the Kafka consumer. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward. Awesome. Yeah, it is pretty straightforward. And in fact, moving forward, we're considering adding a more um, native and streamlined support in IoT Hub okay. by uh, enabling this capability in event hubs that we use for storing customers' data directly. Got so it. this is something that we, we are going to consider based on the customer like the, interest. The default endpoint of that's IoT right. Hub for the message. Got that's it. right. OK. Uh, and uh, basically, that's the whole that's setup the whole and demo. Thing. Awesome, Reza. So I hope to see you soon for another great demo. This was the integration of Kafka with, uh, Kafka with uh, IoT Up. Thanks, Reza. See you soon. Yeah, thank you so much cool. for having me.